Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Brakes are the unsung heroes of every vehicle. They're the system that stands between you and potential disaster, so their effectiveness is paramount. But did you know that not all brakes are created equal? While most modern cars are fitted with disc brakes, drum brakes still have their place in the automotive world. In today's video, we're diving deep into the comparison between disc and drum brakes. Which one is better? Let's find out. To truly understand the differences between disc and drum brakes, it's essential to grasp how they work. Disc brakes, the more popular option in modern cars, consist of a disc or rotor attached to the wheel. When you press the brake pedal, a hydraulic system pushes brake pads against the rotor, creating friction, which slows the wheel down. Drum brakes, on the other hand, have a drum-shaped component attached to the wheel. Inside the drum are brake shoes that push outward against the drum's interior surface, creating friction and stopping the vehicle. Both systems rely on friction, but the way they generate that friction sets them apart. Disc brakes offer several advantages that have made them the standard for most vehicles, especially on the front wheels. One of the primary benefits is their superior cooling. Because the rotor is exposed to air, it dissipates heat more effectively than the enclosed drum brakes. This is crucial because braking generates a lot of heat, and when brakes overheat, they lose efficiency, a phenomenon known as brake fade. Disc brakes are less prone to this problem because their design allows heat to escape quickly. This is especially important in high-performance and heavy vehicles where the brakes need to perform consistently even under extreme conditions. If you're driving downhill for an extended period or in stop-and-go traffic, disc brakes are less likely to overheat, providing more reliable stopping power. On the other hand, drum brakes have a different approach to braking and cooling. Their enclosed design means they can trap heat more easily, which might seem like a disadvantage, but it also means they are more protected from external elements such as water, dirt, and debris. This makes drum brakes more durable in certain environments, particularly in off-road conditions or in situations where contamination might be a problem. Additionally, drum brakes are typically more robust and longer-lasting because the drum can be made thicker and stronger than the thin rotors used in disc brakes. For this reason, drum brakes are still commonly found on the rear wheels of many vehicles, particularly trucks and SUVs, which require more durability due to the higher loads they carry. Now, let's talk about maintenance. This is where things get interesting. Disc brakes are generally easier to maintain and repair. The brake pads are more accessible, and because of the open design, it's easier to inspect them visually. If you hear that characteristic squeal, it's usually time to replace the pads, and swapping them out is relatively straightforward. Drum brakes, on the other hand, are a bit more complex. Because the brake shoes are housed within the drum, Getting to them involves a bit more disassembly, making them more challenging and time-consuming to service. Plus, because the braking force is distributed differently in a drum brake, wear patterns can sometimes be uneven, leading to more frequent adjustments and maintenance. When comparing the overall performance between disc and drum brakes, it's clear that disc brakes excel in almost every measurable aspect particularly in stopping power and consistency. This is why they are the go-to for high-performance cars, motorcycles, and racing vehicles. Disc brakes can handle repeated hard stops without significant loss of performance, which is why you see them on vehicles designed for aggressive driving. Even in wet conditions, disc brakes perform better. Because they are exposed to the elements, they can shed water more easily reducing the chances of hydroplaning when braking. Drum brakes, by contrast, can sometimes trap water inside the drum, which can severely reduce their braking power until the water is dispersed. 
So why are drum brakes still used in modern vehicles? It all comes down to cost and simplicity. Drum brakes are cheaper to manufacture, and for many vehicles, particularly in the rear, they are more than sufficient. Remember, most of the braking force in a car comes from the front brakes. The rear brakes provide additional support, but they don't need to work as hard. For this reason, drum brakes are still common on the rear axles of economy cars and some trucks. In these applications, their lower cost and greater durability make them a practical choice. Manufacturers save money on production, and drivers get longer-lasting brakes for the rear wheels. Let's talk about the different types of vehicles and how disc and drum brakes fit into the equation. For smaller, compact cars, where weight and speed are lower, rear drum brakes are often enough to get the job done. These cars are lighter and typically don't carry heavy loads so the extra stopping power of rear disc brakes isn't always necessary. But for larger vehicles like trucks, vans, or SUVs, rear drum brakes are often used because they offer the durability needed for hauling and towing. The additional strength of the drum helps these vehicles maintain braking performance even when fully loaded. However, many modern trucks and performance SUVs are now moving towards all-wheel disc brakes because of the improved performance they offer especially when towing heavy trailers or hauling large payloads. So which is better, disc or drum brakes? The answer depends on what you need from your vehicle. If you're driving a standard car or an SUV that's used primarily for commuting, the combination of front disc brakes and rear drum brakes is probably more than enough. This setup offers a good balance of cost, durability, and performance for everyday driving. However, if you're driving a high-performance vehicle, a sports car, or even a truck that's frequently towing or carrying heavy loads, disc brakes on all four wheels are the better choice. They provide the consistent stopping power and heat dissipation needed for more demanding driving conditions. Ultimately, it's not a question of one being universally better than the other. It's about finding the right balance for your vehicle and how you use it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you now have a clearer understanding of the pros and cons of disc and drum brakes. Remember, your braking system is one of the most important parts of your vehicle. So whether you have discs, drums, or a combination of both, make sure you keep them well-maintained and ready for the road. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more automotive content. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.